What's up, everyone? Today, I'm going to show you three things about this fascinating Red Cat cab over axle vehicle. The first is I'm going to show you how to install the best part of this vehicle, how to install the servo controlled lifting and lowering of the vehicle. The second part is I'm going to show you how to do endpoints on this radio that they have because it is critical that you set the endpoints correctly when you lift and lower the vehicle. So it's you're not putting the servos under stress. And the third part is a super cool mod. The biggest weakness of this vehicle is it's just not high enough, you know, to do any kind of get off my driveway or any, any kind of unevenness in the surface. So I'm gonna show you how to lift this vehicle and with the proper servos, increase the lift by three inches controlled by your radio, all right? So the first subject is how do you do the servo controlled lifting and lowering of the vehicle? You buy a little kit and what the little kit has is these two servos and a Y controller. So Y connector, so the servos work in conjunction with each other. I believe this kit is $50 and you already have the links. So the links are already included in your, your Red Cat. So you don't even have to buy the the kit from them basically yeah you probably have some servos laying around uh, and then uh, a white controller you can buy for five bucks the key is the servos have to be strong enough for the task they're gonna lift this vehicle and its load maybe a half inch all right so that's it's gonna be 35 kg is what they recommend for that task all right so what you do is you remove these uh, placeholders these are dummy placeholders uh, that will take in the place of the servos and something really unique about this system is it has these rods that hold the elevation of the vehicle and you have your, uh, the servo arm uh, holds it in place like that and when they are completely uh, horizontal or facing each other the force is canceling out so there's no load on the servo or the arm when it's in this position and that's your normal cruising position okay so you remove this you put the servo in and then you you put in the uh the servo arm that they have so there you go so let's say we've done that and now the vehicle is held in position and you can lower the vehicle this is a lot higher uh, than the normal but i'll show you uh, that's the third trick so you lower it and something that's critical in this position is the, the, the bumpers, the chassis has to touch the ground, has to rest on the ground. Because right now, the servos are holding the whole vehicle. And that's gonna put stress on the vehicle. They're heating up at the moment. And so you have to set endpoints. And how you set endpoints with this radio is pretty cool. It's not obvious because there's no labeling. You already have endpoints right here. Uh, endpoint these two buttons and the trim okay so you can see me set the trim on the steering wheel you should be uh, you should see that thing move uh, and then whatever position you're in uh, the last position you're in that's you're setting the endpoint of that okay so to set the endpoints of the different channels you press the bind button twice a little double click so now it it flashed twice, that means you're now controlling channel two, which is the throttle. So whatever trim I do, or endpoints, is controlling the throttle. And then I set it again, double click. Now it's controlling channel three, your little toggle off and on switch right here. Uh, but since I'm not using that, I'm using channel four, I, I set it once again. So now it flashed four times, now I'm controlling the trim and the endpoints. Uh, of channel four, which is what I have. So I'm gonna press it. So this is increasing the height of the vehicle. And I really want to slam it to the ground. So keep pressing it. So there we go. Completely resting on the ground and not causing any load on the servo. And you're not really gonna drive it this way, but sometimes you're gonna just sit, maybe park this way, right? With the, with the radio on. So this is the position uh, that you want it on. And then let's check our, our lift. Uh, I'm using this three position switch. So I have uh, 
So I have a couple uh, heights. And right there is good. Now, mind you, I'm not supposed to be driving on this, on this position. Uh, this is just for display because uh, it's causing load on the servo. So I put it to the, uh, the other position, the end position. And right there, the thing is horizontal. If it's not horizontal, I can set my endpoints. Make sure they're horizontal. And so the load, eh, the force is canceling each other out. So now I should have my, my channel four controlling the height. Completely resting. So I'm still working on it. But I do have very powerful servos here, uh, something like 800 ounce. They can go to 1,000 because they're 4S servos. And the key test is when you load it up. So this is the bed. You, you'll, and when you put a weight, that it should be able to lift it. So what I'm going to do, so these servos, they go to 4S, so they're very powerful servos. They should be able to handle this weight. So your lift is really limited by the length of your servo arm. So the servo arm I'm using is this. It's just an Amazon special. And you could double shear this, put one on each end uh, for strength. Um, I'll show you in a picture. And they're very cheap. So there you go. I'm super jazzed because they can go, I can go to 4S uh, just, just as long as they don't get hot. I'm sure that my trim is okay. So now the real cool thing is I can drive on the driveways now. I can drive on a little dirt. Maybe if I had some tread on this, uh, really increase the, the functionality of this vehicle. I, I, I can haul my crawlers into the, into the dirt, into the off-road lots and whatnot. Uh, I'm gonna, probably going to change this radio because what I want to do is control the speed of these servos. You know, this is kind of jerky. I was, maybe, maybe I can make it hop, but really what I, what I want is a, is a, a slow hydraulic, um, hydraulic looking, uh, lowering and increasing. Maybe I can have a little sound too. So there you go. A little, uh, little treat to really get the most out of this vehicle. I'm also going to change the motor right now so to have a much more powerful motor so I can haul some loads and, uh, and get some speed as well, uh, stronger than three miles an hour. All right. Thanks a ton, everybody.